This is the easiest way to build an embedded database or factor database on top of LLM with your own documents and create a knowledge base with AI. Today we want to talk about anything LLM. Now this is software that you can run on top of any large language model and you can use various types of documents like PDFs, Microsoft Doc files and other supported file formats as well as web links to build a knowledge base or embedded files using anything LLM. You can also use this to build a factor database for your companies. For example, if you have an e-commerce store, you can create a factor database to use for customer segmentations and gain a better understanding of your audience. Now let's check out how we can run anything LLM with our offline or local LLM on our local machine. So first we need to download anything LLM from here. Now we have the executable files, execute that and install it. It's very easy and simple. Now we come to the main page. The first time we need to click get started running and here I'm going to choose Olama. Now you have other AI connection options. You can use the open API and LM studio among other things. Here I input Olama's base URL. Choose the models and set the token context windows. I leave everything as the default settings and then for the next step, I choose the embedder for the local documents and use the default one for other custom documents as well as the lens DB. The lens DB is for our factor database connections. Again, I use the local one as the default, but you can also use other factor database providers. I just want to set up a simple local database and local LLM connections all on one machine. Now, there's a survey. You can input your information here if you want to receive updates about anything LLM. I'm going to do that as well. Maybe I'll just say it's for my side hustle education and you can type your comments or skip this survey if you don't want to fill it out. Now, for the first workspace, this is like a chatbot area where you want to work. Right here, let's say I have an e-commerce site and I want to chat about my e-commerce documents, learning to understand more about my customers. So let's make this an e-commerce workspace, right? Once we create this, you can start chatting here. But then before that, we have to upload any documents related to my e-commerce store. So let's say I have a list of order lists of my customers that I can upload as files and I can turn the CSV files into an HTML file just for easier readability for anything LLM. And then I go to the settings. I choose the Mistral LLM that I installed in Olama. And I keep the default settings value for other settings here. Then in the first thread, by default thread here, you can click the gear button, the setting button again, and you can embed the documents into the large language models. But before that, Let's test without embedding. So I will ask, where are my customers mostly located? Now, these questions are coming from the local LLM without embedding my documents. So it doesn't have any information. As you can see, the reply from the local LLM, Mistral. Okay, so after that, let's run this with embedding my documents. This is a list of orders from my e-commerce store. As you can see, this is already embedded in my workspace. It's cached in the embedder, and then we can close this once we're finished. And then let's ask the same questions again. And now, as you can see, the large language model is able to retrieve information from my embedded documents, learn it, understand it, and give me the answer. It provides accurate locations of my customers based on their shipping addresses. So let's try a broader question. Just give me the customers, right? Based on those cities that are located in the United States from all my orders that I uploaded in this demo. So let's try another one. Let's try something that I want to grab from the internet. 
For example, I have a research paper of Gogo Lumiere that talks about video diffusion models, and I have two links, right? So I add these two links and embed them into a new workspace. One is from GitHub and the other is from arcsieves.org and both of these links are in HTML format. So let's save, click save, and embed. Now, in this one, I will ask some questions about this diffusion model. So let's say, give me the summary of this video's diffusion model in point form. The large language model is able to retrieve information from the embedded documents or the links that I provided here, arcsiv.com, And it shows me the information in point form. Now, let's say I want to write about 1000 words about this video diffusion model. It is also able to do that because it has the information and it summarizes it, helping me build articles about this diffusion model based on the information I provided in the embedded embedder. So, as you can see, all this information has references as well, indicating where the information is sourced from, and this looks very professional and also has backgrounds and different point forms. So, let's try another example here. Let's say I just get rid of the GitHub page and I only have the ArcSiv research paper. That is different from the e-commerce workspace as you can see here. Check one more time. The e-commerce workspace is getting the orders of my e-commerce store and the Lumia workspace only contains the ArcSiv link from ArcSiv.org's research paper. So you can work in different workspaces, embedding different documents. And that is really good, a very well-organized way for us to work on other projects or different projects in a company and understand more about the information that we have provided. So that is a very quick demo of anything LLM and I hope you guys get inspired and try it out with your own information. This is completely working locally, so I will see you guys in the next videos. Have a nice day. Bye.